Well, two weeks ago, a Savannah police officer shot and killed a homeless man who police say charged at him with a razor knife. This has left many people wondering, was deadly force necessary in this situation? There's no doubt that police officers respond to some scary and even life threatening situations that sometimes require the use of force with a firearm on one side of the waistband and a taser on the other. How do officers know which one to use? Using your taser in situations where somebody may may be um, aggressive towards the officer, may be ready to, to strike an officer or strike another person, and the use of a taser would be effective. Using a taser also depends on how far away someone is from the officer. So if I'm this close, the taser would make sense. But when I'm this far away, it's too far for the taser to reach. Now, when it comes to using deadly force, the department follows the Supreme Court case, Graham v. Connor. And, and that has to do with the severity of the crime. That has to do with, you know, if the person is a danger to officers or other people, is the person actively resisting arrest or attempting to evade arrest? The go-to for officers is to always use their best judgment and try and de-escalate any situation with their words. But sometimes, they say there just isn't enough time for that. Situations where things happen too fast, you know, when you're talking about deadly force situations that may happen immediately, then an officer has to use uh, his best judgment. And the ultimate goal is to make sure that that officer in the community is safe. But regardless of the weapon, the most helpful tool isn't on the waistband. We want them to know that the best tool they have is their mind and what they say. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is continuing to investigate that incident. The officer involved is on paid administrative leave this morning pending the investigation.